Hello, welcome or welcome back to my Fluid Art channel, Eleni Shear here. Today I'm going to do a Dutch bloom and I've got a 40 by 40 centimetre canvas and my base paint is a neutral beige colour which um, I custom mixed from sort of table drippings and I've just added colours to it. So here I am just blowing it out with my flower hairdryer by Drew Barrymore. It's on the first setting, uh, so the lowest speed, and it doesn't have a cool setting, but it doesn't really make any difference because uh, I've used one with a cool setting and it doesn't seem to make a difference. So it's perfectly fine to use and it's a lovely hairdryer to work with. And uh, I'm just blowing out the edges. As, I, as you see, I just add a little bit at, at a time so that I'm not wasting the paint. And then I'm just gonna go around with uh, my finger to check the edges are covered. But before that, I'm just making sure that I haven't got too much paint on the canvas by tilting it. And here I am checking the sides. So I'm going in with my butane torch just to get rid of any air bubbles. So first of all I'm going in with some titanium white by Amsterdam and then the first colour is Arteza's Pearl Papaya Orange. And I'm going to do the, the layers sort of next to each other. And the next one is Reflex Yellow by Amsterdam. The next colour is Cranacridon Nicoesa Gold by Golden. And then I have Pearl Strawberry Red by Arteza. And that went on top of the three colours. And this is Iridescent Gold by PBO. And then Iridescent Silver by PBO. and torching the air bubbles out. Here I'm adding oxide black uh, mixed just with water just to get some lacing or some sort of reaction and then here I'm doing a swipe through just to get like a kind of a stem looking area. So now I'm going to blow it out and I'm just going to blow it out not too far because I want to spin it a little bit and you'll see that it, it goes, it spins out uneven because I've not added paint all the, all the way around and where it, where it um, spins off more that there, there was more paint but I will fix that later. So you can see here on the right where it's it's just uh, kind of gone off the edge. Um, so I'll probably tilt it a little bit just to even it out and then I'll take the palette, light, palette knife and take some of that part off on the right. Thank you. 
and the part on the left needs to be blown out a little bit as well so I'm gonna sort that out I don't know if I actually filmed it but you'll see it at the end uh, it looks really nice so I'm just adding some more paint to the area that I scraped off um, and if there's a little bit of residual colour there when it's dry I can just touch it up with the paintbrush. And just touching up this edge here, adding a little bit more paint and smoothing it out. So now I'm going to take a skewer or a palette knife and do some outlining on this little stem here. And then I'm going to outline some of the flower part as well. So I've, so I've just taken some white and just outlining on that side for some kind of highlights behind the petal and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. It helps this channel immensely and I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm just giving it a little torch uh, for the last time. I am going to blow out that little part on the left so that it looks more even and you'll see that on the finished piece. So I'm using a straw here to blow it, blow a little bit on this left side, but it's just not doing the job. So I will add a little bit of the papaya orange and blow it out off camera and you'll see that in the uh, close up. So here we are with the close-up and starting off with the stem with some lo lovely soft, really soft lacing. It's just picked up a little bit of the yellow and then some lacing here. This is really pretty lacing here. The, the oxide black mixed with, just with water works quite well considering this is thin Dutch pot paints. Um, it's quite a bit of shimmer with the silver coming through, a little bit of the gold coming through all, all over. Um, this Nicoizo gold here is just really pretty. It's mixed in with the gold, with the 
iridescent gold by PVO. And so it's just giving it a nice shimmer. I love the white coming through. It just gives it depth um, with the sort of highlighted and highlights and the low lights. Gives it shape, I think. Just love this lacing here. And I did one similar about a year ago. So I thought I'd revisit similar. They're not exactly the same colours, but they're, they're similar. Um, I can see the silver here, it's really pretty. Um, the shape's nice. Um, I like it. Do you like, do you like the background? I thought it, it looks quite elegant. Let me know what you think in the comments. I always love to hear your comments. If you'd like to see another video just like this, tap the screen on the left and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.